Hi everyone. In the sixth and last part of this question, we need to calculate after tax WAC. After tax WAC takes into consideration interest tax shield. Hence, we need to use after tax cost of debt not pre tax cost of debt which is pre-tax cost of debt multiplied by 1 minus tax rate. Therefore after tax WAC is weight of debt multiplied by cost of debt multiplied by 1 minus tax rate plus weight of equity multiplied by cost of equity. Consequently, after tax WAC is market value of debt divided by both market value of debt plus market value of equity which is weight of debt that is multiplied by cost of debt multiplied by 1 minus tax rate plus market value of equity divided by both market value of debt plus market value of equity which is weight of equity that is multiplied by cost of equity. So, after tax WAC is $40 million divided by open bracket $40 million plus $60 million close bracket All this multiplied by 8% multiplied by open bracket 1 minus 30% close bracket plus $60 million divided by open bracket $40 million plus $60 million close bracket All this multiplied by 12% which is equal to 2.24% plus 7.2% This gives us after tax WAC of 9.44% It is obvious that after tax WAC is always lower than pre-tax WAC because after-tax WAC uses after-tax cost of debt while pre-tax WAC uses pre-tax cost of debt which is always higher than after-tax cost of debt. Also, after-tax WAC has the same formula of pre-tax WAC except that the cost of debt is multiplied by 1 minus tax rate which results is a lower after-tax WAC compared to pre-tax WAC. After-tax WAC will be equal to pre-tax WAC only if tax rate is 0%. Thank you for watching this video.